Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to episode 24 of League One to Legend with Portsmouth. Today we take on Nottingham Forest at the city ground in a huge match for them and for us as we try to move up the table. We've also got one new loan signing to introduce to you now the window has closed for January and a few results to run through as well. Don't forget if you enjoyed this content please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel and also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Right, let's introduce you to our new loan signing. And our new loan signing is Jordan Hugill. He has joined us on loan from Norwich City for the rest of the season. Obviously letting John Marquis go left a little hole at the top of the pitch. Jordan is very much an upgrade on John Marquis. Pressing forward can be a target man as well. 29 years of age. Delighted Norwich City decided to loan him out to us. Strength. Bravery, aggression and determination are his key attributes. He's not bad with the finishing either and the pace as well. So he is the total package for the championship. It might well be something we look to turn permanent in the summer as well. So moving on to the results we've had since we were last together following the defeat against Oxford United. The link is up the top for that one. It was a 2-0 win over Huddersfield Town. Lee Evans with an own goal. Marcus Harness with the second one for us as we go through to round five of the cup. We did, however, beat Manchester United 2-1 on the night. We are out on aggregate, obviously losing the first leg 3-0. We go out 5-2 on aggregate, but we did give them a bit of a scare. Bruce Anderson with the opening goal. Donny van der Beek with the equaliser for Manchester United. Marcus Harness gave us a 2-1 lead and a very good win over Manchester United, it has to be said, even though we were eliminated from the competition. It was very much the late, late show against Reading after that. Jerome Sinclair put Reading in front on 85 minutes. Will Volks with his first goal for the club, equalising three minutes later as it finished 1-1. We followed that up with probably our best win of the season so far. A 1-0 win at Craven Cottage. Ryan Williams with the only goal of the game. And we backed that up with a 2-1 win over Rotherham. Marcus Harness and Ronan Curses with our goals Anthony Alangi with the reply for Rotherham. So onto the competition screen we go. So our reward for beating Huddersfield is to take on Norwich City in round five of the FA Cup. At home as well. Hopefully we can make it through that. In the championship, Sheffield United lead the way on 77 points. They are almost now certain to be promoted back to the Premier League. Watford are in second place. They are 10 points behind Sheffield United on 67. Bournemouth have 59. Oxford have 57. Fulham have 56 with West Brom on 53. The chasing pack though are closing in on them. Brentford have 49. Middlesbrough have got 48. Blackburn have got 48. Today's opponents Nottingham Forest have got 47. Birmingham have got 46. Hull have got 46 as well. They are all probably still in playoff contention. Us and QPR, we're probably looking for the best of the rest. 42 and us on 41. So we're only now nine points away from the Magic 50 and probably securing another season in the championship. I'd be very, very disappointed if we get relegated now to be brutally honest, down at the bottom of the table. We're Preston, the bottom on 16, and are almost certain now probably going to be playing League One football next season. Swansea are on 23, Rotherham on 26, Coventry are on 28, with Wickham on 32. I think it's probably going to be two from four down the bottom there. Reading are on 34, are by no means out of trouble yet. Bristol City are on 35, Huddersfield 37, Derby 39, Barnsley on 40, and there's us again on 41. So, we are looking very much at Nottingham Forest today though. As much as it would be nice for us to win and move us up the table, Nottingham Forest have their eye on a playoff place. They are six points away from it at the moment. Everybody else has played so far this midweek. We are the only game left to play this week, so they have the chance to pull within three points of West Brom. Let's take a look at the teams. So here are the two starting lineups for this one. Forest start with Blackman in goal, Falkea, Oxford, Worrell, Clark, Bakuri, Cafu, Colback, Lolly, Muto with Dominic Samuel leading the line. We start with Bettinelli in goal, Dalesgaard, Watmore, Byrne, Brown, Gibbs White, Impanza, Doyle, Harness, 
Callum O'Dowda with Jordan Hugo leading the line. So a chance for us to potentially dent Nottingham Forest's playoff ambition and move ourselves up the table as well. We are closing in on the top half. If you have said to me in August that was going to happen, I would have taken your hand off right there and then. Let's get off and underway. Through to Dominic Samuel, but he's rolled it wide. He tries to play out wide, looking for Lolly. Up against Brown. Tries to get into the penalty area. Good shot, but it's a good block. Muto picks it up, though. Clark with a shot from distance and a good save from Bettinelli. Not many chances so far in this first half, but that's certainly been the best one. There's Lolly with the corner. Tries to swing it in to the penalty area. Bettinelli gets his hands on it. Good catch, son. And that's your lot for the first half. One good save from Marcus Bettinelli. One bit of catching practice. We do need to try and get ourselves in this game. Let's see if we can do it in the second half. Blackman with a goal kick. Sending it down the field. Brown should deal with it. Although Lolly is there as well. Good header forward by Brown. Picked up by Gibbs White. Looking for O'Dowder. Gibbs White again looking for Marcus Harness. Will he get in behind Clark? He will. Kind of. He's into the penalty area as well. O'Dowder with a shot over the bar by Blackman. First real opportunity from our perspective. Brown with the corner, sending it into the middle. Blackman with the catch. Right, we've reached the hour mark. Let's have a look at a substitution and try and shake things up if we can. So we'll make a change in the middle of the park. Paddy Ruddock and Penza is going to come off. Will Volks is going to come off. Throw in down this right-hand side. Will Volks will take it. Long throw into the penalty area. Harness picks it up. Plays it across the front. Anybody going to get a shot away? O'Dowder picks it up. Gets the shot away. It's blocked by the defenders and cleared by Johnson. Doyle with that corner. Plenty of Portsmouth bodies in the box. Can we find a Portsmouth head? We can with Dan Byrne. Good save by the keeper. Blackman sends it away quickly, but Dalesgaard is going to field that. That's an awful kick out. Just gives the ball straight back to us, but thank you very much. We don't mind that at all. Dalesgaard into Harness. Tries to go beyond Clark. It's just going to roll agonising behind for another corner to us. And we will try again from a set piece. Taylor gone to Johnson. Lolly's in the centre if he can find him. Brown is up against him. Fogling sends it into the box. I've said his name wrong, never mind. Johnson picks it up. Off Brown for a corner. This game is going to spring into life at some point, right? Lolly with the corner. There's a couple of unmarked players in there. I don't like that. Taylor is one of them and he's heading over the bar. Volks with the throw. O'Dowder. Back into Gibbs White. Can he have a bit of magic? He has a shot. It's saved by Blackman. Needed more power than that. We're going to make another change before Jamal Blackman comes down the field. And Jordan Hugill is going to be the man to come off. Freddy Ladapo is going to come on as Blackman sends it down the field. What more should head it forward? He's missed it. Taylor's in behind. Delsgaard's coming across. Will he deal with it? He won't, but Bettinelli tips it round the post just about. Harness into Gibbs White. Looks towards Callum O'Dowder. He's going to be our biggest threat, and he has scored Callum O'Dowder. Tenth goal of the season. Lovely finish. With 13 minutes to play, we have finally found a goal. It was worth the wait, though. What a finish this is from Callum O'Dowder on the volley. Gibbs White with a lovely ball in behind the defence, in behind the right back. First time shot from O'Dowder beyond the goalkeeper, 1-0. Well, it's lacked in chances. It's made up for in quality there, isn't it? Goodness me. Doyle with that corner. Chance for a second goal, perhaps. Anybody going to get their head on it? No, it's headed away by Worrell. Defenders, there are two very tall defences there. I'm not surprised that the balls into the box haven't been great. Dalsgaard up against Bariki. Oh my God, be careful, Henrik. As he plays the ball across and we just about managed to get rid of it. You watch. Now they're going to score from a corner. I've just said defences are on top from set pieces and they're going to score from this, aren't they? Lolly with the corner. In towards the centre. Dan Byrne heads it away at the near post. Corners are the theme of the afternoon, it seems. We've seen plenty of them. Lolly with the corner kick. Swings it in towards the centre. Watmore gets his head on it and clears it away. As Callum O'Dowder comes down the field, his goal separates the two sides. Will he find a second one? He'll play it back into Doyle. As we keep the ball, we're learning at championship level. Has to be said. Has been a very steep learning curve for us so far this season. Ball towards the far post, headed away by Clark. And Jai, Doyle with the tackle. O'Dowder sending it forward. Ladapo trying to flick it on. But we've just got to try and hold on now. We're going into added time. We have five minutes of added time. Where have you got bloody five minutes from? Worrell with the ball. Plays it into Bakura. Got to hold on now. But Taylor's in behind. Will he get a shot away? He will. Lyle Taylor has equalised in added time. It's happened again. Ah! Nottingham Forest 1. Portsmouth 1. Oh, bloody hell, lads. Just allow him to go in behind. What more? 
Draw on goal. Lovely finish. 1-1. One, one. Last few minutes. Marcus Harness is going to come off. Ronan Curtis is going to come on. That's a bit of a sucker punch. But I guess on the balance of play, 1-1 one, one is probably the right result, to be fair. Probably. Chance for us potentially for one more go, perhaps. As Curtis has the ball. Brown is well open. Go on. Find a ball across into the centre. Towards the far post. Callum O'Dowda is there, but it's out for a corner. Of course it is. Don't mind, nothing has come of these for either side. It's been headed over the bar or caught by the goalkeeper every single time. Doyle with the corner. Anybody going to get their head on it? No. That's going to go over the bar as well. It's a better idea, though. And that looks as though it's going to end the game at one apiece. As Volks with the throw. Referee is added time onto added time. The Nottingham Forest did score in added time. Gibbs White. Will he find a Portsmouth player? Volks. He's got to go. It's out for another throw. But that is it. Nottingham Forest 1. Portsmouth 1. It took a while to come to life. But it eventually got there. Although it's very much on life support, I think at the moment so let's take a look and see what that's done to the league table where well, it doesn't help either side really Nottingham Forest are a point further on so are we we are closing in on the top half though let's take a look at what we're going to do next time around so what we will do next time we will play Barnsley Coventry West Brom and Preston we will come back for that fifth round FA Cup tie at home to Norwich City another Premier League side for us to potentially try and kill as we close in on the end of the championship season obviously i don't think we're going down we're certainly not going up either so it's mid table very much the eye for us we are just now aiming to finish as high as possible so yes we will come back for that game with Norwich City next time around. See if we can do a bit more FA Cup giant killing, shall we? If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel but like to do so, please click that subscribe button down in the corner. Don't forget, if you've got any comments to make on today's video, please leave them below. Also, don't forget, I'm a member of the Passion for FM team. The link to the Discord server is down in the description. I'm also promoting the charity Mind. If you are suffering with your mental health through this global pandemic, there are links down in the description where hopefully you can find the support that you need i will see you next time for that fa cup tie until then thanks for watching goodbye